Today in the kitchen, we're going to make homemade soft pretzel bites. I love getting these when we run errands and go to the mall, but I haven't been able to get them lately. So I made my own recipe and everybody is loving it. So I wanted to do a little how-to video. First, we're gonna add some flour into the bowl. You can do this by hand. You don't have to have a mixer. Then about half a teaspoon of salt, a couple teaspoons of yeast, and then I just get my dough hook and give it a little mix. Then we will add water, milk, and butter, and some brown sugar. Now for the butter. And milk. And the recipe calls for one half cup of flour, depending on where you live, the altitude, um, if it's dry or humid outside, you may need to add a little more or less. The dough should start to come together pretty quickly. You don't want it to be super dry, but it's not a sticky dough either. This is just what we're looking for. It's starting to clean the sides of the bowl. Once you get to this stage, we're going to let it knead for about five minutes. five minutes and it looks perfect. It is nice and soft, but it's st staying together. It's not sticky. I can easily lift it and get it out of the bowl. So now all you need to do is let it rise until it's doubled. You can do that in the same bowl. Um, it'll take about, you can do that in the same bowl. It will take about an hour. Um, it kind of just depends on the temperature of your kitchen. Or one of my favorite tricks is to let it raise in the Instant Pot. Um, if your Instant Pot has yogurt setting, that's the setting you're gonna wanna let it raise on. It's not too hot, it won't cook it. Um, the warm setting is too warm, it will cook it, but you just plug it in, push yogurt, and it will cut down the raising time uh, to about 30 minutes. Okay, our dough has risen beautifully. I did this one in the Instant Pot. just gonna this is really lightly floured it's not a sticky dough so we don't want to over flour the surface <laughs> what are you guys laughing about and we're just gonna lightly roll it out we want it to be a couple inches thick so that is good okay now I'm just gonna use a pizza cutter to cut it we're gonna do strips and then once we have the strips we'll just cut across and make them into little squares. And after we make the squares, the dough will just have to rise for a few more minutes. About okay, these have been resting for about 20 minutes and they're just getting a little bit puffy. And I just have a simple egg wash here that I will that I will brush over the top of these. You want to be really gentle when you do this so that you don't smash any of the nice air bubbles in there from them raising while they've been resting. And I just do these one tray at a time because I want the salt to stick onto the egg wash. So I'm going to take a break real quick and sprinkle this coarse salt onto the pretzel bites. You can use any kind. Um, my favorite is this Redmond Real Salt. And we'll just put these into the oven. Okay, I just took these out of the oven. They look great. And now I'm just going to brush them with some melted butter. You can also just put them in a bowl or a bag and toss them with the butter. Whatever is easiest for you. This is my favorite part. And now you can just close your eyes and imagine <laughs> you're shopping at the mall at your favorite store. You're hungry? Yeah? Can I have a brownie? A brownie? You don't want one of these pretzels? Oh my gosh. Okay, how is this? Okay, what do you think? Like the ones at the mall? Mm-hmm. 
No? I said it was on pause. You just like these ones better? Yeah, better than the other one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Mom. All right. Best pretzel bites ever. You heard it from her.